Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here. September the 28th, 2024, on a Saturday. On a Saturday. And so today, I'm going to be talking about something that is only going to apply to certain people. Okay? And <clears throat> I put out a video the other day about uh, cult leaders. Okay? Cult leaders. And, you know, that's the only word I can think of to call them. Or clerics. You know, they're cult leaders or clerics. And I put out uh, plenty of videos describing who those who those people are but these particular cult members um, do not believe that they are part of a cult but they sense and receive it they know it they know they're a part of something that's not um, not um, up the par they know that there's some type of deception manipulation and indoctrination going on and is involving them Okay, so this video is going to be for the cult members or the cult associates or the cult followers because you're the ones that are getting pissed all over. Okay, everything's trickling down on you, and you are, and you realize because we are approaching a certain phase in our development that that you realize is about the consciousness. Okay, that's what it, you realize that has been about the consciousness all along. It hasn't been about these supernatural forces of, of uh, realities that people have been indoctrinated in you with, manipulating, deceiving you. What I'm going to do the best I can is just, just give you the information that you're looking for. Because that's why you're paying attention to me. Because you know that I am being genuine and authentic and honest with you about our situation. And you know that. That's why you continue to follow me. And that's why, it's, you know, and this is separate from people that are supporting me. I mean, again, I told you guys and gals, boys and girls, man and woman, female and male, masculine and feminine. Let's clear that all up too, and I will in a minute. You can't fool your consciousness. And at the same time, you cannot, okay, necessarily fool certain forces of energy you can you can manipulate it you can deceive it you can interfere and i and i talked about that over a course of i mean almost hundreds of videos because i was doing what i know that i need to do as long uh, uh, you know and i said i made a lot of mistakes i was using words that i should not have i was using phrases metaphors uh, you know that I should not have. But you know what? That is part of learning. Okay? That's part of learning. Making mistakes and growing like that. So that's why I'm not going to take those videos down. They're going to stay up forever as long as, you know, as long as they are. Uh, I can pass that on to my descendants. To my lineage. And like I and I've also said, as I noticed, certain people are not going to listen. Because, you know, they're, they're, the sound is not resonating with them right now. Okay, a lot of us are talking, a lot of us are putting out trillions and billions of bits of um, content. And then we are, I'm not competing, but a lot of people are attempting to compete with artificial intelligence. And, and that's where a lot of people are running into a lot of problems. So let's just lay, I'm laying the foundation as to what I'm about to talk about. And what I'm about to talk about, only certain people will understand what I'm talking about. Because what I'm about to talk about has been passed on, passed on to them from their ancestors to their now descendants. In other words, your ancestors passed this on to you generation after generation after generation after generation. This goes back, like I said, almost over 2,000 years ago. Uh, possibly more. But let's just stay, let's just stay in, in a certain range of time. Because of it is, it is all about timing. All right? We don't want to be concerned too much uh, at some point it'll, it'll all come together it always does and when I said uh, the other day on that video we are acting the same way that we are now than we were 2,000 years ago 20,000 years ago blah 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 our behaviors and actions somewhat have not changed the only thing that has changed is our environment you know how we are uh, navigating through this life you know we're not 
a lot of us, you know, a lot of us are living in a modern, quote unquote, society, which is nothing more than a materialistic society. You think it's modern, but it's just materialism. materialism that's all it is. Okay. And you are associating that with uh, evolution or development or uh, allowing it to make you feel better than everybody else or believe that you're better than everybody else. Believe you have more power than everybody else and blah, 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 blah. It's all indoctrination. It's delusional and it's hallucination at the extreme. Okay? I know some of you are realizing, again, that you're being used. And then you know that if that is put out, if you kind of go up against it, you know what's going to happen to yourself. You know you're going to... You know you're not going to survive it. And that's why I have been constantly saying no one has to know. Nobody will know. Okay? Nobody is going to know what you're thinking about or what you're doing. Okay? So, so I'm going to say as much as I can, as much as I know, but everything is on you. It's on you, the individual. You know, you know... You know, you know that you are, are in a in a, a cult of criminal energy. Okay, the people that are being exposed publicly, and and you know, in an entertaining fashion. I mean, you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg. And a lot of you know that. A lot of you know that. And so, a lot of you have been questioning what you're doing and why you're doing it and why you're believing this and why you're believing that. And so again, uh, and I also put out a video, not a video, but a, a post. And I said, you know, um, how did I phrase it? Stand by. You know, I kind of phrased it in a way that, um, you know, sometimes you have to be creative with people who think they know everything okay you have to be creative with people who think that they're the shit and a lot of you have been following people like that you've been following people uh who um have this belief that they are it okay um what did i say but uh yeah a lot of stolen material you know, it could be scientific, it, you know, because religion is part of a scientific phenomenon. Religion, uh, uh, actual scientific stuff, engine, you know, all of that is scientific, quote unquote. So you can have scientific, um, religious um, beliefs, scientific, surrounded around, um, beliefs as well okay so just just those of you that and you know you are you know what i'm saying that's why you are following me or you have people following me and i'm not offended at all because i know some of you are questioning things and that's what i'm here to do is help you okay i'm here to help you and i think you might feel a little bit more able to breathe you can breathe because, as I said, this happens internally. No one has to know. But you have to be creative as to how you conduct yourself. Okay? And how you take on things. And a lot of you are, you know, highly educated. Highly, highly educated. Okay? A lot of you have a lot of life experiences. I mean, you know, you have, you have the whole package there. But you know that something's not right. You know that something's not right, but you know that you're, it could be life-threatening for you to voice it, to announce it, okay? So just stay with me, because what I'm talking about is, uh, is almost um, what everybody else is talking about, really. But those of you that know what the sounds and tones to look out for, which is energy, it's all about energy, and again, you can't fool your consciousness. So whatever everybody else is doing, it becomes irrelevant, actually. You know that this is about you individually. 
even though we are a, a whole collective of a whole collective but I told you the whole of collective failed so now it's like I said you're in a, a large balloon full of billions of people some of you are I mean the majority of you have uh, ventured off into your own into your own uh, like-mindedness because of the energy of that like-mindedness and so you're going to be hearing a little diff you know because all of us are evolving whether we are admitting it or not we all are evolving okay but what most of most of the people on the planet are doing is causing damage to their consciousness because they don't recognize and understand energy they don't understand that that's where we came from we came from a spark of energy but no we there's this supernatural supernatural component that has been meshed in there for min, for for millions not well this this just say uh 2000 or so years ago like i said let's just stay there since we keep going back there, okay, I, like I said, we keep relying on Bibles and Korans and those type of documents to conduct ourselves. A lot of people are questioning that now. And that's the, that's the whole point of the dawning of the age of Aquarius, coming out of beliefs, going into knowledge. And you can't fool your consciousness. Your consciousness is going to keep, you know, impulsing you, impulsing you, impulsing. And the impulses go on and on and on and on and don't stop. Just like thinking, thinking, once you start thinking, you know, come out of that womb of your biological mother, you start, you know, and once that conscious, you know, you know, you get that consciousness enlightened and your consciousness is enlightened while you're inside the womb of your biological mother, by the way. Okay. And so that's going to create a lot of legal battles about you know about the um, the process of life and when life begins we're not going to talk about that but you that are following me listening to me paying attention to me you know what I'm talking about okay and and you are spying on me and stalking me because that's what you are being told to do I, again I'm not offended I understand now and I have nothing but compassion and empathy for you but I'm going to do everything in my power to help and I can I know I can all right, so stolen material. Like I said, some stolen material was intentionally inaccurate. It was intentionally inaccurate. Because we have too many sophisticated um, people out there. You know, I call them cult leaders, whatever. You know, they could be, I mean, they, you know, they, they, they are in a, in a hierarchical structure. You know, only they know how to get somewhere, you know, to the kingdom or to this or that and the other. You, I mean, we all know what those leaders are, you know, because like I said, religion and politics go together, okay? And sadly, religion, politics, and scientific factors as well are meshed together. You can't tell the difference between one or the other, okay? Because it's all about energy, the energy of your thoughts, okay? So, solar material was 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 uh, inaccurate for a reason, and there's a reason behind everything. And like I said, you have to be creative, you know. And a lot of us are creatives; we have this creative mind, but a lot of us just are not thinking properly. The major uh, damage to all of us is we're not thinking properly. We have an improper, we have improper thinking modes, and we don't believe we don't believe that we need to come out of it. But a lot of you realize that you do. Because a lot of it, a lot of your so-called knowledge, no longer serves humanity, and it no no longer serves you. It has expired. Okay, it's done with. And because we were not challenging a lot of these, which are they were theories and opinions, we made it knowledge, we made it law, we made it lifestyle. All right. So. In my, so I told you about this man. There's this man that lives among us. You know, he continues to live among us. Who put out some information uh, decades ago. I'm not sure how long. And that's irrelevant right now. Because a lot of you are just descendants of your ancestors that, quote unquote, went to visit this man. Okay? A lot of you are 
you know, just the descendants of these ancestors of yours that had gone and see this man. And these ancestors of yours have been waiting for this man, waiting to know, okay, who is this person? And, and um, what is he talking about? You know, your ancestors have been looking for this man for over 2,000 years because they knew he would be materializing, you know, during a certain time. Like I said, the dawning of the age of Aquarius. That means a lot to some people who have been secretly, been in these so-called secret societies. And you know, you know certain words that you hear and you know, and that makes you pay attention. Okay? So that's why you pay attention to certain people. And more so to him and his material. And that's why you plagiarize it. And this, these are the cult leaders that are doing that. These are your ancestors that, that, are, that, were, that are doing this and have been doing this for over 2,000 years. Still in material from messengers, prophets, heralds, whatever you want to call them. They're human beings at the end of the day. They've been stealing stuff from me, from these, um, you, they're men, but they were, these men, messengers, had disciples, which were male and female, okay? Let's make that clear and effective, okay? And that ought to help you to, to lessen a certain type of reality that you, and first of all, too, before you start listening to this video, you're going to have to suspend your ego, you're going to have to suspend your labeling. You're going to have to suspend your beliefs, your convictions, your faith, and, and allow yourself to be vulnerable. But remember, no one has to know. You know, you can, be, you can say, oh, I'm out praying somewhere, and, and, and no one will know what you're doing. Right? Because it's supposed to be a quiet, peaceful, you know, a lot of you pray all the time. You say it. You know, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for this. I'm going to pray for that. Okay, that, that's a perfect opportunity and an opening for you. Okay? Ground yourself in reality. Breathe. Okay? Relax. Okay? And get through this properly. Without raising suspicions about yourself. With others. Because like I said, we're all in each other's face. We're watching each other. We're paying attention to each other. Okay? We're, you know, people are listening to our cell phone conversations. They're listening to listening to us through all these devices. Okay, and that's that ought to be proven. Okay, so just breathe. Sit back, get yourself something comfortable to drink. I mean, uh, get your get your temperature comfortable. Get you something to drink, and just kind of hold on. As best you can okay hold on and like i said i'm talking to the these followers of these cult groups that are all over the world okay and like i said they're in politics religion scientific entertaining influencers all 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 factors of hierarchical structures are affected okay uh and you know these large followings of people that are following people around and a lot of them are following people around just to stalk them. And a lot of people are following certain people around just to cause harm to them, honestly. So you need to always pay attention to your environment. Okay, know how to defend yourself and your people that you love. You know, protect humanity. You know, you know, spread peace and love. You know, walk the talk. Okay. So, let me just say this again to the, uh, these followers. I'm talking to you only. I'm addressing you. Anybody else that's listening, listen. Hey, this is, there's no secrets here. Your ancestors have been looking for this man or waiting for this man for, de for, for decades. And then what, and what, and see, everybody has an image in their mind about who this person ought to be. Everybody has an image in their mind of how this man is supposed to look. And that's why you have millions, almost millions of depictions of so-called holy ones, you know, messiahs. Mess Everybody's a messiah. Think about it. You know, and, and there is a, and when you don't understand all of that, yeah, you can be on the verge of insanity. And that's where a lot of people are as well. When you are attempting to take on such a force of energy like that, saying that you're a messiah, saying you're God, saying you're chosen. I'm going to keep talking about it. Okay, and it's going to make sense at some point. 
and chances are it already makes sense but a lot of us just i don't know we we have this need to always have to be reminded reminded and that's because we're not thinking properly we keep spinning 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 and spinning and until you stop that spin and allow yourself to be open open you're gonna keep missing it every time and it's all about timing so your ancestors have been waiting for this man or were alerted to this man's reoccurrence materializing um, you know now you know and, and at this point in time you know during, at the beginning of the dawning of the age of Aquarius which was in the 1800s or so and um, you know so that that's where we're headed the, uh, the dawning of the age of Aquarius February 3rd 2029 and so pe a lot of people know that's very significant you know, because stuff has been passed down, passed down, passed down, passed down, passed down. And it's that, like I said, it's that secret society, that secret science, that secretness of things. And so your ancestors were passing that down to you, the descendants. I'm talking to the descendants usually, in most cases. You are the descendant of this. And a lot of you have been questioning stuff about the realities of certain events and you know that how dangerous that is you know what happens to people when they attempt to expose things you know what happens to people who have been assassinated when they are attempted to tell the tell you the truth about your birthright as to who you are what you are and why you are and you understand that it's not what you have what has been passed down to you okay cool a lot of people have been saying that, but there's just certain people that 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 say it is is why they get extremely targeted, especially if there's a perception of they having having a large following. So back in the day, before the social media platform, people were paying attention to people that were drawing large crowds of people for a reason. Okay, think about it. I mean, they want to know, okay, what, you know, because these particular so-called cult leaders have extreme, extreme, extreme jealousy. They're angry because they're not getting all that attention. Okay, they, they get extremely angry about that. That jealousy and envy is festering, and it has been festering for decades upon decades. And your ancestors, you know, can pass that type of, uh, I call it a, uh, criminal energy to you you the descendant you the descendant can take on that criminal energy and not understand where it's all coming from you're like so that's why so many people are like man i have everything i need here i have a beautiful home a beautiful wife a bop, 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 you know and a beautiful husband because women let me tell you about the women i'll get to that i might have to do another video on that i don't want to make these too long but that's fine i know you're listening you know you know i know you're listening so just kind of take in as much as you can, pause the video, breathe, go outside, breathe, relax, walk, you know, see if you can ground yourself with no shoes on, you know, and blah, 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 step on pavements and concrete and all that. You know what to do. So, you as a descendant, you know, you can have certain forces of energy passed down to you, okay? It can go into your, you know go into the makeup of who you are that force of energy and that's what's powerful about energy and that's what's also dangerous about energy as well you know why we always want to create you know so so what happened with your ancestors is they were able to tap into a certain certain level of uh, criminal energy okay this happened over the course of 2,000 years they they had they realized that they can tap into a certain amount of criminal energy if you remember that movie um the ten commandments and that character that was playing moses and if you remembered a scene where he was supposed to go he was supposed to go somewhere I, I hadn't seen the movie in decades but it was it was impactful to me okay but anyway he went to a certain area and he was supposed to be receiving some type of information and if you remember that scene he was getting that information from energy if you remember that, 
It was all energy. Okay, that is that's actually reality that can't happen, but that has changed and warped over the sense of uh, over a course of time because of the interference and, and blah blah blah. So yes, yeah, some people can tap into certain levels of energy, which I call, like I said, criminal energy. And I also told you that this planet is is re reinforced with that criminal energy. Okay, negative energy that has gone so extreme that it's negative and it's fortified and it surrounds this planet. We are all affected by it. We all get, uh, you know, we all are getting impulse with that negative form of energy. Okay, so that's why some people can get damaged consciousness and not even know that their, their consciousness is damaged. And what is causing uh, this to be so so fatal, because, it, it, you know, eventually it's a fatality that is waiting to happen. We keep increasing the population. We keep bringing more people in, more people in. And that's that indoctrination that your ancestors passed to you that, you know, the more the merrier. And it was, and you didn't realize at, at a young age that you were being indoctrinated because it was all about greed. It wasn't about enlightenment. Enlightenment doesn't never was never the um, uh, the intention. The intention was greed, power, dominance, control. That is what is what you know. So and so so a lot of things are hidden in spirituality. Spirituality is not spirituality as it ought to be. But that but because spirituality is the individual, the individual has to work on that. We all come from a a piece of creational energy but we are all individually responsible for the development and the evolution of our consciousness okay uh, and billions of us are not doing that now again your ancestors knew about this particular type of energy and it does exist we are surrounded by it we're surrounded around it it is encased on this planet and you your ancestors were responsible for that okay you the descendants are you doing this just passing down, you know, so-called cultural customs, whatever. You've been doing what you're told. You know, you came from a, it was a possibly restrictive, indoctrinating uh, culture, uh, family, associates, like-mindedness. You know, you, you thought you were in a family of, you know, you thought you were in a family of like-mindedness of people that love you. But you soon realize that's not the truth at all. Hence, the sexual abuse, the incest, the uh, deviancy, the degeneracy, the perversion. You were experiencing all of that. Okay, and you and as a as a undeveloped mind, just imagine what that could do to you. But some of you are able to kind of look outside of that. That's why some of you did, def you know, defect. I think that's the right term. You, you know, you left those kind of, uh, um, I mean, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a cult. You left that type of environment uh, just to, I mean, you know, and then, of course, you were shunned. You, you know, your family disowned you. And they can disown you quicker than, I mean, the, the disownment. Of a mother and her child in these type of environments is unreal. So that's why a lot of you are, are damaged. And you realize that your parents, your guardians never loved you at all. It wasn't about love, ever. It was not ever about peace and love, universal love. And you're realizing that, you, the descendants that I'm talking to. You know, like I said, those of you that decided to defect, and, and leave, um, you know that a lot of people, it, it um, abandon, they abandon their duties, okay? It's a person that gives up their allegiance to something, and usually it's religion, And but, but religion has been twisted. A lot of people do not like to call themselves a religious group because they know how twisted that is. So they're very clever. Okay, your ancestors were not, uh, they were behaving stupidly, but they were not anything but. They knew exactly what their intentions and purposes were. Okay, now, 
So, but yes, yeah, some have some have defected, and you are considered illegitimate. Uh, your you know your so-called birth parents, your biological parents disowned you. Like, I mean, and you are you are actually a stranger to them. Okay, you you will be, you will remain a stranger to, to them for the rest of your life. Okay, so you got, that's something that's hard to take on. That's why you got to just be patient and kind, be gentle and kind with yourself and understand what happened to you. You're responsible for finding out what happened to you. And once you suspend your ego, suspend all of these labels and attachments, and allow yourself to be vulnerable. Breathe, be grounded, and and take it on. Okay, you need to take this on. Okay, but no one has to know. All right. So, some of you knew that. Okay, something just isn't right. But you know that in order to keep the, the keep the family name, you ha you know there's a lot of this. It's, it's a lot of pedigree involved with this. It's a, there's a lot of um, uh, you know it's that pedigree. And pedigree, keep in mind, you know, is in all walks of life. You know, you know, it's a, it's a, a line of ancestors that says here, family tree. Okay, um, it's a um, it's a powerful force because, and that's what concerns me when I hear people say, you know, family is everything. Woo! Talk about indoctrination there. Family is everything. That's indoctrination. Okay, pay attention to that because family, that's not true. Okay, it's not true. And find out why it's not true. I'm not going to tell you why it's not true, but you figure it out. We have to start thinking for ourselves and thinking independently from groups, independently from cults. No one has to know. So your ancestors passed this criminal energy down to you and you're now operating as such, you know, you're walking around in these nice business suits and these nice, uh, you know, you, you, you're walking around and you're beautiful people, physically beautiful, and you know it, you know, you, you always are, you know, you, you, you know, you, everything is in order externally, you know, you, <clears throat> you manicured, you know, you're manicured, you, you know, you have a haircut, you have hairstyles, you, you know, style your hair, you know I mean, I mean, I mean, you're, you're mesmerizing, you know, for me, a visual person you capture my attention and some of you have that those kind of eyes too those those deceptive eyes can, I mean those eye, those beautiful eyes can be deceptive and indoctrinating and when I back in 2022 when stuff started happening to me I you know I realized I was uh <laughs> that I put myself out there I knew I made a lot of mistakes and um you know I there was a, still a little bit of uh uh, uh ego you know, when you realize certain things about yourself, you know, the first thing we all want to do is share. It's like, wow, you know what I know? And I, and I did that too back in, I think it was 2008. Yeah, 2008. 2007, 2008, 2009, you know, in, those, in that range of time. I was so excited about the information that I had discovered. You know, because I was doing so much research back there. I wanted to jump on the top of the mountains and say, blah, 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 blah. But I didn't realize the force of energy around all of that. Mm -mm, I didn't realize it. And so I, I um, uh, uh, was targeted and, you know, certain certain series of events started happening to me. But again, uh, I had been working on myself for so long, for decades upon decades. And so um, once you evolve and develop your consciousness properly, you can defend yourself against a lot of that stuff. Not to say that it won't hurt, okay? But you can defend yourself from a lot of that stuff. And that's why uh, if I had not been uh, developing developing myself properly and I had been operating off of ego, I probably would have been killed. I'm just being real honest with you, okay? I probably would have been taken out. I wouldn't be here, all right? That's how powerful this, this, this information is. And that's why you say, I say you cannot fool your consciousness. And so going around believing that you are all powerful, that you know how to handle certain amounts of energy, which is now considered criminal energy, you are going to be silenced. Because who can deal with the forces of, of uh, electricity? You know, you, I mean, especially when it's being projected on you. 
chances are a lot of people, you know, I mean, it's painful. Ask anybody that has been struck by lightning and is still alive and ask them how they feel. Okay, it's debilitating too as well. That is what the energy of our thoughts can do as well to people. Okay, but I'm not concerned per se because I'm developed and I'm continuing to develop property properly. I know how to neutralize that positive and negative energy because that's my responsibility. There's nothing special about that at all. Okay, and so you got these people who are messing around with this um, criminal energy and they think they're all powerful. And a lot of them, again, that, 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 that uh, series of ancestors that started all of this, I mean, they're dying off. Okay, they're dying off. And so they are relying on you, the descendants, to keep this going. And I'm telling you, you know, this is the time to reconsider that. Okay, change your, change your mode of thinking. Release your ego and say, wait a second here. Something's not right. And you know that. Again, I can look at some certain people that are talking. Because I pay attention to a lot of things. I, I love watching people and listening to people. I mean, because, you know, you, whether you are operating with criminal energy or uh, or not, I still learn a lot from you. Okay, I still see you as human beings. Uh, some of you are, again, you are setting yourself up to harm yourself, harm people around you. The main thing is the harming of your consciousness. And when you harm your consciousness, you can walk around and nobody will know anything is wrong with you. But inside of you, your brain cells are dying. And at some point, you're going to atrophy. You know, you're going to be atrophied. And you are going to be easily controlled and manipulated. Okay, and that's what they're using artificial, that's what they're relying on artificial intelligence to do. To you will allow people to, to put stuff into your brains. You will have allow yourself to be chipped. Okay, you're going to allow yourself to be taking certain type of medications. Okay, you know. So, breathe. Breathe, okay. So what I want to say to you, the descendants that are in this, uh, chances are, you know, it's going to be, it is, it's going to be, um, you know, to, in, in order to release yourself from that, that's, that's going to, that's going to, that's going to change your, you know, the, uh, outwardly appearance of yourself. So you just have to be creative. You have to be safe. And you're going to have to know how to, uh, you know, teeter on the verge of certain things that you are surrounded with. Because you know, you know, you know the dangers involved with that. That's why I say a lot of these assassinations that have taken place, we'll, we'll never know who the actual per perpetrators were. Usually assassinations of certain high profile people comes from that hierarchical structure and then it's just trickled down to where you don't know who started it who uh um ordered it to happen okay so many people are so desperate you know they're desperate for attention desperate to be noticed desperate to get a position and that's why i said they can hide so easily in politics religion into the scientific field engineering field you know celebrity field all you know all of that kind of stuff is where they can hide and fester and so that's why you know when these assassinations happen is 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 it comes from hidden hands unknown unknown sources and you'll never you'll never uh necessarily get the truth about who uh who uh, uh ordered it to happen that is irrelevant you know once the damage is done the damage is done okay once some, you know, once the damage is done, his damage is done. You know, and we need to move on from there and understand what is actually going on and not focus so much on, you know, certain things. And that's what we like to do. We like to keep conjuring up certain things year after year after year after year. The damage has been done. Okay, how are you changing that so it doesn't happen again? Because all, all we're doing is ruminating, 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 ruminating about tragic events you know always memorializing tragic events 
you know, and, 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 um, you know, and, you know, triggering ourselves to do it again and again and again and again. Deja vu, deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. Anybody paying attention to that? That's how we've been operating for 2,000 years. You know, I have to look at, you know, because sometimes, like I said, I don't know what time it is, what day it is, what year it is. I have to look. Because space and time and all that is uh, an illusion anyway. You know, it's all about timing. You know, we put we put these labelings to things. That's why you just, just suspend it. Suspend it, you know. And we're always worrying about what time it is. You know, I don't wear watches for a reason. And I, I put on a, on a video why. Um, so I have to look at the, I, I just don't know the date. Sometimes I know, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll know because, you know, I, I have appointments, but I always have to look the same thing about direction of travel. You know, I get lost easily, you know, when, if I have to go out and find certain places, that's why I have to memorize things, see things, you know, cause I'm, I, I'm visual. Um, I have to. I, you know, that's that's something that I, I say that I'm visual, but I'm actually, uh, I, I'm, a, I'm at the point where I'm incorporating all of my sensing together because it is just one. We're just one. And, you know, a lot of uh, confusion is surrounded by that. You know, my hearing, my sensing, you know, feeling, it's all one, but we've, you know, we, we, we fragmented, fr you know, we had it, have them in fragments and we're supposed to bring them together. You know, we do, we uh, enhance all of it, okay? And that way you can be, be operating as a whole person instead of pieces. But we're responsible for bringing our pieces together. And that's, the, that's part of evolution that will go on forever and ever and ever and ever. We're bringing our pieces together. And eventually, yes, we will be one. But that's going to be trillions and billions of years. And so a lot of people believe that they are going to meet their maker you know, once they die, you know, this time around, and th th that's anything but true, okay? Th I mean, you're going to meet your maker in trillions and billions and trillions and trillions of years, okay? So, to the descendants in these cults uh, operating with this criminal energy, I sense and receive you. Um, I know that you are paying attention to me because you know what I'm talking about is true. Okay, this is what you, so when, see, you know you cannot necessarily get that information anymore from that, this particular man. Because you don't want people to know that you're, you're going to this man asking him questions. So you like to do stuff anonymously. And you like to go through certain people that are, because certain people were going out in the beginning of this, I think in the 60s, 70s. And then attempting to, to talk to people about it. Attempting to have speeches about it, and and a lot of them lost their lives. You know, they lost their lives. Now, why would that happen? You know, it's coming from an unassuming man, and he's, you know, he, he just putting out information, and then the people that are putting it, the information out back then. But now it's a little differently because there's so many people operating similarly. You can't tell the difference anymore. And that's why I say plagiarism comes in. People are stealing other people's content, more so his content, and they're kind of putting it into their own narrative. So you don't know, you know, if you're not developed properly, you're not going to know what's true and what's not, what's indoctrination. So, so what I'm saying to the descendants of all of this, you have your work cut out for you. You have your work cut out for you. You have a lot to... Um, um, work on, you know, mainly yourself. You're going to have to move differently, you know, in your realities. You're going to have to listen differently. Okay. You're going to, you know, you're going to have more power on you than necessary to evolve your consciousness and more importantly, to repair the damage to your, cult, uh, your, your consciousness. Okay. Evolution of the consciousness, um, I originally put it out that I was attempting to repair cultures, but I but then I realized it's much deeper than that. I mean, the the, the consciousness is actually damaged for some, and they're not going to be they're unreachable. But you, the descendant, know that you can you can pick it up because you know you you know you 
you you know you went against the grain of things and that's part of your lineage you know chances are you know it's just part of who you are and it's part of how you develop yourself all because you came from a certain background or a certain culture it does you know there you, you know there's no guarantee to anything a lot of people are defecting and when it comes to these damaged cultures I mean damaged consciousness that's why we have a lot of confusion going on okay there's confusion about the the yin and the yang the masculine and the feminine the negative and the positive you know and most of it is so extreme in one way or fashion to be extremely positive is dangerous just as much as being extremely negative okay but this particular energy that I'm talking about is that criminal energy it's criminal because uh, the participants in all of that they know what they're doing they know they're causing harm to you know to people to groups you know they want you subjugated they want you submissive they want you know that's why they, that's why there's this issue about weapons pay attention you know you have the right to defend yourself you know that's why I know that most people for since the inception we're not following the Constitution they have no idea what's in the Constitution so that's why we'll have forces of energy attempting to come in and infringe on that okay there's there, there has been infringement since the in, in, inception from groups of people who think they they think they are the chosen ones that's why I'm saying that chosen one is an indoctrination it's a trap but hey if you want to stay there stay there and those of you operating with energy thinking you understand it if you don't think you're gonna get burned then hey can continue as usual because that's what's gonna to happen to a lot of people unfortunately they're gonna to have to um, you know be at their at their dying hours you know you know in, in a dying hour situation and they're gonna realize what happened they're gonna immediately snap out of it and realize okay it's too late because once you start, you know, once you get to that process of dying or passing, I should say, you know, there's, there, there may be a revelation for some. It's not going to be what you, let's put it this way, it's not going to be what you expect it to be. You're going to realize, you you know, that you wasted another life. Okay, and now you got to repeat this all over again. Okay, so to you, chosen ones out there, who let's 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 back up. To you, who claim your chosen ones out there, who claim your prophets, who claim your messengers. I mean, it's like millions and billions of you, possibly. That's just remember, that's just arrogance. Be kind of gentle with yourself. No one has to know. Once you suspend your ego, once you suspend these labels, convictions, beliefs, about, ask yourself, why am I calling myself chosen? chosen for what and ex do you accept your reality as a chosen one a lot of you probably say no nah. because you know that it's uh, it is it's fiction you know you know there's a lot of fraud going on you know people are lying you know people are just stealing from people they're stealing and 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 um, fleecing people harming people it's just the tip of the iceberg was was collapsing okay it's just the tip of the iceberg and some of you have the have the abilities because uh, I told you it's a lot of you and you know who you are I'm not gonna say it anymore because then that is just used you know you know your words will be used against you <laughs> no, no matter what you say they'll be used against you not for you so keep that in mind but you know a lot of you are innately inclined because that was passed on, you know, through your ancestors to you, from their ancestors. That, you know, like I said, this has been going on for a while. This, these moments have been awaiting, you know, for two thousand years, over two thousand years. These moments, and that, and that's where we are. We are in these moments. Uh, the damage has been done collectively. Okay, there will be destruction. There will be mass casualties, okay? But some of us will be able to navigate out of there and come out of there safely, but not many, not many. So 
protect yourself as best you can. Accept yourself for what you've done. Mistakes are done for a reason. Just snap yourself out of your delusion and hallucination about how important you think you are. You know? Challenge your beliefs. Challenge your customs. You know, your cultures. Your, your uh, biology. Understand why there's this confusion with biology. All you gotta do is pay attention to nature. You know, when when there's an imbalance on nature, what do you think is gonna happen to you, or us, or we, or I? There's gonna be imbalance and confusion with our biology. Okay. Your gender is irrelevant, and um, your sexuality is irrelevant. Your beliefs are irrelevant. Okay, it's still masculine and feminine, male and female, yin and yang. And we and we and and that's that arrogance that your your ancestors have or had. You know, they, they want to be more powerful than what created them. That's delusional. And that's why they take themselves outside of uh you know, they they go way past pushing up the envelope. Okay, they go way past that. You know, they they are in this belief that they are it. You know, they don't realize they're just hum human beings. You know, pushing up the envelope. You know, it, it's uh, attempts at something risky. Yes, absolutely. You know, probing into people's brains. Like I said, chipping. People willingly signing up to be chipped. Just like you willingly signed up to have your animals chipped. Think about all of that and, and ask yourself what you've done. Thankfully, your animals and your creatures and your, you know, they are not, they don't have the consciousness that we have. They have an instinctual consciousness. You know, animals are instinctual. Okay, that's why, that's why they are a pest. They're not human beings, though. Okay, chipping of a human being is interfering and causing severe, severe damage to the psyche and the consciousness when you do that. So a lot of people are wanting to do that. Push the envelope to the extreme. I mean, it's gone way past that. You know, uh, with innovation, mathematics, space exploration. You know, we got two people stuck in space, but th they were not the first two people stuck in space, by the way. Um, and But that's silent and kept uh, secretive. They were not the first ones uh, abandoned in space. Now, are these two particular people that are making the news going to be abandoned? You know, it's all about timing. You know, sometimes it's about um, uh, timing and moments to project a certain image of, of, uh, of a hero being a hero a savior a messiah okay pay attention so it may be one of those kind of things where they just you know magically somebody goes up and get them you know pay attention um you know going past normal very very dangerous to be pushing the envelope against uh the uh, the actual reality of our planet our universe you know, nuclear weapons, you know, started out as an atom, which is atom is what? Energy. Energy that was neutral, but now it's, it's turned into negative energy, criminal energy. Okay? So, I want to say more about this to those of you that are listening to me. You know, and um, you know that I'm the shit about what I'm saying and not that's not being cocky but you know that I'm not playing around about what I'm saying to you you know I'm not doing anything to indoctrinate you mislead you you know you know that I would help you if I if you ask for me if you ask for my help I will help you but I'm not gonna go out seeking you so that's why you take my stuff you take other people's stuff you know you plagiarize people's uh, information you know hey you know it hurts you if your intentions are not pure, if your purpose is not pure, if you're not doing it to save humanity, but 
Instead, you want to dominate humanity. You want to give this this illusion that you are so more powerful and you have so much more knowledge than everybody else. You want to be in that hierarchical structure, just like your ancestors were. Okay? And you notice when your ancestors were on their dying bed, they may have said something to you to tell you to get the hell out of this cult. You know, get the hell out of this thinking mode. Okay, find the truth. Okay, some of you were told that by your ancestors. This is not it. You need to find the truth. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. I send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. This was not this information is not going to stop. I I can sense and receive you know what's going on just like anybody anybody else if they are developing their consciousness. That's why it's so important to evolve your consciousness. I'm going to help a few, but I can't help as many as as we are on this planet and how we're exploding this planet with people this this insanity and at some point we're gonna we're gonna out you know we've already outgrown ourselves tenfold so now it's all about surviving and finding places and people and like-mindedness you know and sharing universal love okay so take care of yourself enjoy your day peace and love and trust me I will be back.